Oh, here we go, guys. It's time for WrestleMania 38 predictions, guys. I can't wait, guys. I can't wait, guys. It's going to be an absolutely great-ass weekend, guys. And, yeah, guys, there's going to be a lot of matches. I'm going through the whole predictions. I was thinking of doing WrestleMania Saturday predictions and then WrestleMania Sunday predictions. But I thought maybe just just might as well do it all in one, you know. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoy these WrestleMania 38 predictions, guys. Might as well subscribe to the channel, guys. Can't wait for this weekend, guys. It's going to be banging. We also got NXT set and deliver, guys. I already did the predictions. Go, go check that video out, please. Give it a like. You know, cheeky subscribe button also won't hurt anyone. So, yeah. Please smash the like the button on this video. And smash the like. Uh, I just said that. And subscribe to the channel, guys. So, yeah. I'm just so hyped up for this weekend, guys. I'm literally... Well, we're like less than 12 hours away from NXT Stand and Deliver. And then, of course, WrestleMania Saturday after that. I can't wait for this weekend, guys. So, hopefully, enjoy. Hopefully, you guys enjoy WrestleMania also and NXT Stand and Deliver. So, yeah, guys. Hopefully, you guys have fun with your friends if you watch them and watching it together or just, you know, enjoy. So, yeah, guys. Hopefully, enjoy. And let's get started with the predictions, guys. So, of course, we're going to start with WrestleMania Saturday. So... Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. Uh, as I'm recording this right now, I haven't seen what's happened in SmackDown, so this might be a, this. They might have added a stipulation to this match, but as I have it right now, Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin one v one, not a stipulation. Which if it doesn't have a stipulation, then it's gonna be kind of boring. But I'm gonna have to go with Drew McIntyre, of course. And we're starting off with pre pretty easy. So Drew McIntyre to beat Happy Corbin. Next match, the Usos versus Nakamura and Rick Boogs for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. See, this is a hard one because like those right now are unstoppable. They're, you know, they're the ones with Roman, of course. But Nakamura and Rick Bo Boogs. I was about to say something else. My bad. My bad. Um, you know, I really like them both as a team, but like. Of course, they have a chance of winning, but, like, I don't know. Those are pretty unstoppable. This is actually a hard one. Because, of course, I want to see them win Nakamura and Rick Boogs. Boogs. So, yeah. You know what? I'm just going to go with the Usos. Because, you know, they're the ones. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go with the Usos to retain the SmackDown Tag Team titles. So, yeah. I don't really care who wins that match, but I'm going to go with the Usos anyways. All right, next match. Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair. Raw Women's Championship, guys. This is going to be a banger match. I can't wait for this match. This is one of the matches I'm looking forward to in this... In WrestleMania Saturday. You know what, guys? I'm going to have to go with Bianca Belair, guys. I know Becky Lynch has been unstoppable. I don't even know what they're going to do if Bianca Belair does win. I don't know what they're going to do with Becky Lynch after she... If, if Bianca does win, of course. Because Becky Lynch might, you know, cheat her way to a victory or something like that. It might end in a no DQ. You never know. But I'm going to have to go with Bianca Belair because I really want to see her win again. Oh, uh, She hasn't won the Raw Women's Championship, actually. So it'll be good for her, good for her to win it. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Bianca Belair to become the new Raw Women's Champion. All right, next match: King Woods versus Kofi Kingston uh, and uh, King Woods versus Sheamus and Rich Holland. So yeah, King Woods and Kofi versus Sheamus and Rich Holland. My god, my bad guys. I don't know why I'm so stretched. It's I need to get hype. You know, I need to get more hyped. You know, I need more Jirali to come get me more hype. Cause tomorrow is WrestleMania Saturday. And of course, NXT send in the wrist. I can't wait. Okay. Alright. Come on, Kevin. You got this. You got this. Wake up. Wake up. Alright. My bad, guys. Alright. King Woods and Kofi versus Sheamus and Rich Holland. I have to go with the new day. Easy dub. Alright. Look, if Sheamus and Rich Holland do win, it's going to be because of Sheamus. Alright. Anyways. Next match Logan Paul and The Miz versus The Mysterious, guys. See, like, this is a little bit hard because, like, it's his debut of Logan. But, like, The Mysterious, come on now. They. They can't, they don't need this one, but, like, it would be fun for them to win, you know? But, like, Logan Paul's debut, guys. I don't know. Well, this is kind of a hard one because I don't think, maybe, or, I mean, it's Logan Paul. He, he could win. I mean, he could lose just because of the Miz. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going for the Mysterious. I believe in them. I, I want them to win. And it will be fun to see how Logan Paul performs. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Mysterious to win. Next match. Oh. Kind of. KO Show with Stone Cold Steve Austin, guys. Stone Cold is going to be a part of WrestleMania, guys. I know you all know already. But, like, KO Show. I know it's going to probably turn into a match or something. They're going to do something. I think this might be the main event. I'm not sure. It's either this or the SmackDown Women's title match. I'm not sure. I don't think this is going to be the main event. So, yeah. KO Show with Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's going to... I'm ready for that. And when it turns to a match, which it probably will, I have to go with Stone Cold. Come on, man. Come on now. He won't just return to lose, you know? 
Because that'll be just, you know, dumb. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Stone Cold. If they do have a match, but they have to come on. Like, KO has been talking shiz. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Stone Cold. Come on now. Ronda Rousey for Charlotte Flair. SmackDown Women's Championship. This might be the main event. I'm going to have to go with Ronda Rousey. Come on, she has to. She has to. I know Charlotte Flair, like, she's the queen. I know she's, I don't know, like, 14-time champ, 13-time champ. That's... She might even be her dad and John Cena. I don't know. But, yeah. She, I, it's Ronda Rousey time. So, yeah. She won't just, like I said, return to the Royal Rumble, win it all, and then just lose. I don't think that will happen to Ronda Rousey. So, I'm going to have to go with Ronda Rousey to win the new... To become the new SmackDown Women's Champion. And now, this is not going to be the main event. But this is the one I wanted to talk about last for WrestleMania Saturday. Seth freaking Rollins versus a mystery opponent of Mr. McMahon's choosing. So, there's been speculations, rumors about, you know, John Cena, which I would like for him to happen. Also, there's been, like, you know, Seth Rollins has been tweeting a lot, like, you know, pictures of someone, like, to, you know, get get the fans hype, or just, I don't know, but, yeah, he's been teasing also John Cena, Goldberg, The Rock also, who else? I forgot who else. He's been teasing a lot. So, yeah, <laughs> even uh, Bailey, I think. Or some it was a girl I forgot, but yeah, guys. But it has to be this person. It has to be. You already know who I'm gonna say. It has to be Cody Rhodes, guys. It has to be. Maybe someone will show up, and then like after the match, if it's like for example John Cena, I would love for that to happen. John Cena for Seth Rollins. After the match, Cody Rhodes will have will return. But I really want to see Cody Rhodes for Seth Rollins. I think we've already seen that, but you know what? I want Cody Rhodes to return. It has to be. It has to be, guys. Cause I think fans will legitimately be pissed. And we'll just, like, leave. <laughs> so, yeah. It has to be. They've been, the fans have been chanting Cody, Cody. Or maybe they're chanting Kobe, Kobe. Because that's, of course, Seth Rollins' real name. But, nah, it's been Cody. So, I, come on. Cody Rhodes has to return. He has to, guys. I'm going to be popping for that. I'm going to be, like, on the edge of my knees. Like, shaking my tinsels. So, yeah. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm going to be shaking. And then when the, oh, you're on his mouth. I swear, if he's Stardust, I'm not going to be into it. I don't want Stardust to return. He's the reason that Cody Rhodes left. It's because of the Stardust gimmick thing. So, yeah. I don't really want him to be Stardust. I just want him to be Cody Rhodes, you know? For he could be beat Roman Reigns. For he could dethrone Roman Reigns. And beat Seth Rollins. So, yeah. So, I'm going to have to go. Th if they do have a match, well, it has to be Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins. So, Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. I can already see it. So, I I'm going to have to go, of course, with Cody Rhodes if that does happen. Which, hopefully, hopefully, it does. Because you never know, it might not even happen, and he might debut debut until Raw after Mania. So yeah, hopefully he returns tomorrow, guys. So yeah, I'm going to go with Cody Rhodes. Can't wait for, to see him return. I'm not... Hopefully he does. Come on now. Alright, so yeah, that's for WrestleMania Saturday. Now on to WrestleMania Sunday. WrestleMania Saturday had eight matches, so it had more matches than... It has more matches than WrestleMania Sunday. So yeah. So yeah, WrestleMania Sunday now. RK Bro versus Street Profits versus Alpha Academy for the Raw Tag Team Championships. So RK Bro just be uh like a few weeks ago, like a month ago I think, or three weeks ago, they beat of course Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins and uh Alpha Academy for the Raw Tag Team title. So RK Bro are the champions right now. And I I don't think Alpha Academy is gonna win again, no offense. And Street Profit Street Profits have a chance because like they haven't won the titles in a bit. So it'll be fun to for them to see it. And maybe after if the Street Profits do end up winning, maybe Randy will turn on Riddle or or vice versa. But I don't know, man. You know what? I'm just gonna go RK bro. I just wanna see them celebrating, you know, with the titles after they win. So yeah, I'm gonna go with RK bro. I never doubt Randy Orton and Riddle. So yeah, RK bro. Next match. Ooh, Pat McAfee versus Austin Deary, guys. Like I said, I don't know if any of these matches have added stipulations. So yeah. So Pat Pat McAfee versus Austin Deary. See, I don't see Pat McAfee losing, but also Austin. Both of them are making their debut on the main roster, cause Pat Pat McAfee technically made his debut already. So this is actually Austin Theory's debut at Mania. That's crazy. Oh, both of them actually. What am I talking about? <laughs> so yeah, I I don't see Austin Theory losing. Honestly, guys, as long as much as I want him to lose, I just I just want him to lose. I I don't see him losing. So I'm gonna go with Austin Theory. I just can't wait to see how Pat McAfee's gonna perform. I know he's like done a lot in his two matches he had in War Games and with Adam Cole, baby. So yeah, so yeah, I can't too see how he has improved over the few uh years I believe. So yeah, Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory. I'm going with Austin Theory. Next match: Bobby Lashley versus Almost. Almost. 
So yeah, this is gonna be a Clash of the Titans, guys. I can't wait to see who wins. But I'm gonna have to go with Bobby Lashley, guys. He just returned. And if there's anyone that I would think that could dethrone almost right now, it's Bobby Lashley. So Battle of the Titans, I'm gonna go with Bobby Lashley to win. And beat almost. Next match. It's gonna be a final four way for the women's tag team championships, guys. Ooh. We got Queen Zelina and Carmella. We got also Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan versus Shayna Baszler and Natalia and Boss and Glow, which is of course Sasha Banks and Naomi guys. So it's between two guys. It's between two teams. Queen Zelina and Carmella, probably not. Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan have a great chance. Shayna and Natalia they might win because of like a Sonya Deville or something, but nah. And of course Sasha Banks and Naomi. It has to be Sasha Banks and Naomi guys. Sasha Banks I don't think has won actually in WrestleMania and she needs this win. Bianca kind of doesn't need this win. Oh, she probably does, so. Yeah, but Naomi also needs this win, kind of. So, it has to be uh, Sasha Banks and Naomi. I'll legitimately be pissed if they don't win. Unless it's Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. I'll be down for them to win also. But I'm going to have to go with Sasha Banks and Naomi to become the new Women Tag Team Champions. So, yeah, maybe Bailey will return and, you know, cost Sasha Banks or something. And maybe Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan will, will win or something like that. But, nah. I'm sticking to Boss and Glow. To become the new women's tag team champions. Alright, next match. Johnny Knoxville for Sami Zayn. Anything goes match. Ooh. Anything goes, guys. You don't know. Fast count anywhere. Anything goes. I'm gonna have to go with Johnny Knoxville. I know Sami Zayn, like, you know, he's of course has like experience in the ring. Johnny Knoxville doesn't, but he's probably gonna shock us all shock all of us like Bad Bunny did last year. So I just can't wait to see how Johnny Knoxville does. And also Logan Paul. So yeah. I, can, I don't see Johnny Knoxville losing. I've been saying that for everyone, but I don't see, actually see Johnny Knoxville losing. And I don't see Sami Zayn winning, so. I'm just going to go with Johnny Knoxville. It'll be fun to see him win. And yeah, of course I would like to see Sami Zayn win, but you know, Johnny Knoxville, he got this. He's a jackass. Not like that. It's a, it's, it's a sting. It's like his character, I guess. So yeah, I'm not calling him a jackass. It's this it's this movie guys, chill. Alright, yeah. Jack us forever. That's yeah, yeah. Alright, now this is the match I've been looking forward. This is from all the matches is gonna be my favorite one. Edge Edge versus AJ Styles. First time ever. Dream match is happening on Sunday. WrestleMania Sunday. It's gonna happen. Edge versus AJ Styles. I've been loving this uh, Edge persona. He's got the whole black thing and all that. He's got like his like the dark version of him. We've really seen the dark version of Edge and I like it. And I can't wait to see how, like, he keeps on going with this. But, of course, it has to be AJ Styles, guys. Come on now. Like, I feel like every time, like, they have this 1v1, the the uh, the face always wins. It might be, like, you know, Edge might win. But I have to go with the phenomenal AJ Styles, guys. I just see him winning. And maybe they have, like, more matches. And then they'll be, like, Edge versus Seth Rollins. Like, you know, uh, AJ Styles wins the first one. And then Edge wins the second match. And then the final match will happen maybe at, like, a SummerSlam or something. And then AJ Styles win. So yeah, I think that <clears throat> that I think that might happen. So I'm gonna go with AJ Styles to win this dream match. I know it's gonna be a banger. This might this probably will be the best match of the whole card, the whole card for WrestleMania Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna go with AJ Styles. But Edge does have a great chance to winning. So yeah, of course I'm gonna go with AJ Styles. So yeah, next match, the final match, the main event, guys. This is on the second match. The yeah, the second match I'm looking forward to most. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar Unification Championship match. It's winner take all. Universal Championship and WWE Championship combined. They're, they're both gonna take everything. Everything takes uh, everyone. You know, you know. Um, what am I saying? <laughs> Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Everyone is gonna whoop their asses. The Usos might get involved. Uh, the Rock may be re return after. Someone has to return after this match, guys. Someone has to. So yeah, guys, Roman Reigns vs. Brock Lesnar, Unification Channel Match, Universal Championship, and WWE Championship on the line, guys. When to take on, guys. Come on now. It has to be Roman Reigns, guys. He's unstoppable. He hasn't been pinned yet. He, he's lost some, but like, you know, he hasn't been pinned yet. So yeah, Roman Reigns has to dethrone Brock Lesnar. This I think it's going to be actually Brock Lesnar's maybe, maybe last match, which I really don't want to say, but it might be Brock Lesnar's last match. I, hopefully it's not, but like... Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar has to be Roman Reigns. He's the one. He's the one. So yeah, guys, I can't wait for to see. You know, I think this is going to happen. 
Cody Rhodes will dethrone Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship, and then Roman Reigns will just hold the Universal Championship until next year, WrestleMania 39, Hollywood versus The Rock. And I think The Rock will confer- confront Roman Reigns after the match, after he wins. So that's why I'm choosing Roman Reigns. But if Brock Lesnar wins, I'll, I don't give a shiz. I'll be down for that. But yeah, it has to be Roman Reigns. So yeah, he's the one. So hopefully you enjoyed this WrestleMania 38 predictions, guys. Special 11. It's going to be a crazy weekend, guys. I can't wait, guys. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow in the live reactions for WrestleMania 38. Saturday and NXT stand and deliver. I'll see you tomorrow in the live reactions, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this predictions. I can't wait for Edge versus AJ Styles and the mystery opponent of Seth Rollins. And of course, the main event on, on WrestleMania Sunday. So yeah, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.